Good morning. Please rise for the presentation of the colors. Please remain standing for the national anthem sung by firefighter Regina Wilson. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proud At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Oh, the land. Thank you, Firefighter Wilson. Please remain standing as FDNY Chaplain, the Reverend Dr. V. Simpson Turner, Jr., delivers the invocation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we've come together today to honor and to thank these men and women who are sitting here before us, who today will be recognized for taking that extra step, for take going that little further, either on the fire ground or in the streets or even in the dispatch centers. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts you have given them, the talents and the gifts that they have practiced and worked on and recognized. And we also thank you for your gift of wisdom and courage, wisdom that helps them to act quickly and decisively, and courage to be able to carry through on what they decide to do. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving them these gifts, and we thank you for standing with them as they use these gifts. We thank you all for, for the gift of their families and friends who are with them today, who have supported them and helped them throughout their careers. Help them to continue to love them and support them 
and the years to come. Heavenly Father, may all of us follow in their traditions, all of us following in their courage and wisdom, that all of us, whether we win medals or not, are still doing your work of caring for your people. As always, we ask this as your loving children. Amen. Thank you, Monsignor Delendic. Retire the colors. Everyone, please be seated. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Captain Andrew M. Brown, and it is an honor to serve as a master of ceremonies on such a proud day for this department. On behalf of the Fire Commissioner, Laura Kavanaugh, Chief of the Department, John Hodgins, our staff chief, union officials, executive staff, and elected officials, I would like to welcome you all to today's FDNY Medal Day Ceremony. A special welcome to all of today's Medal Day winners. You make us proud. We are also honored to have several of our Medal Day donors, donors as well as the families of medal recipients joining us. And we wouldn't want to forget the FDNY Foundation for their generous support of all of today's activities. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our first speaker, Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. Good morning. It is truly an honor to be here and to celebrate the most important thing of all, you, our heroes, our firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, fire and EMS officers, dispatchers and fire marshals who do the hard and dangerous work on behalf of grateful New Yorkers every day. Thank you to you. This past year has been heartbreaking as we've lost members of our FDNY family and challenging as you've responded to some of the most difficult and highly technical rescues possible. But that is what makes today even more important and even more special. Medal Day is a great way to reflect on the hard work of our members, to find joy and celebration during incredibly difficult times, and it is always one of the best days of the year in our department, and we're all very happy to be here. I'd also like to welcome the family, friends, brothers, and sisters of our honorees. We are so happy you're here because it's your love and support that allows our members to show up every day and to risk their lives for others. And it is the energy and support and pride you feel for your loved ones that pours out today and makes today's event such an unlifting, uplifting one. Let's give friends and family a round of applause. Over the next hour, you will hear incredible stories of bravery, of challenge, times when possible outcomes seemed unlikely, and yet our members made the impossible possible. They performed miracles. These are the moments when our neighbors were in need, when the FDNY showed up, moments when families were trapped by flames and our members swung off a building to bring them to safety. Moments when patients were at their lowest point in need of critical care and our EMT, EMTs and paramedics arrived at just the right time and administered the care they needed to survive. There is no shortage of amazing stories about the FDNY, but today we get a moment to celebrate them. Every day, FDNY members risk their lives to save others and to get them out of harm's way. Today's stories of heroism focus on the extraordinary efforts that allowed for a roof rope rescue off the side of a Manhattan high-rise, 
They focus on the hard work of our members in the midst of tragedy as they risk their own lives at the Twin Parks fire to allow hundreds of residents to get out of the building safely. We'll also hear about a couple of new medals, importantly endowed in honor of two members we lost in the line of duty this year, EMS Captain Allison Russo and Firefighter Billy Moon. These new medals are proof of our department's forever promise to never forget our fallen members and to preserve the legacies of Captain Russo and Firefighter Moon. The Russo and Moon families are here today. Let's give them both a round of applause. Congratulations to the inaugural recipient of the Captain Allison Russo North Star Medal, Captain Edgar Baez, for his leadership under pressure. You can cheer for that. <laughs> His leadership under pressure, the extensive experience he brings to every situation. Captain Baez and Captain Russo served together in the early years of their career. Captain Baez helped coordinate the response on the day of Captain Russo's tragic death, and now they are forever linked in him being the first recipient of the medal endowed in her honor. Captain Baez, you have displayed incredible dedication to the department and our city, and in doing so, you are honoring the memory of Captain Allison Russo. Congratulations. Congratulations also to Christina Moon, who is accepting the Billy Moon Medal of Life, so named for her husband. Billy was preparing for a training drill at Rescue 2 when he fell and became critically injured. When it became clear he would not make it, his family decided to donate his organs, saving the lives of five people, including two firefighters. Christina has since become a tireless advocate for organ donation, and in doing so is keeping her husband's legacy of service alive. Thank you, Christina. And when we speak of medals named for those who gave their life for our city, there is, of course, legendary Chief of Department Peter J. Gancy, whose name lives on in so many ways in the FDNY, including our highest medal awarded to a firefighter each year. Congratulations to Firefighter Archer Pordgowski of Ladder 108, who receives this prestigious award named after one of the bravest of the brave for his role in a roof rope rescue at a Manhattan high-rise building. Training and teamwork made this incredible rescue possible, and several other members will be honored today for their work at this incident as well. To all of our members honored today, thank you for your remarkable bravery. You've made an extraordinary commitment to others and to the world's greatest city and the world's greatest fire department. The impact of your dedication and service will be felt by the people whose lives you saved across the city for generations to come. You are part of the DNA of this city, and for that, we thank you for your service, your bravery, and your dedication. We wish you all good days ahead. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Kavanaugh. Next, we'll hear from Chief Department John Hodges. Good morning. I want to congratulate all of our brave members who will be receiving a medal today. Today, we come together to celebrate individual acts of heroism and pay tribute to the spirit of teamwork that defines the FDNY. We recognize the extraordinary feats of bravery and valor that are, ev that are an everyday part of being in the FDNY. This is a day when we acknowledge our members' unwavering commitment and sacrifice in the face of adversity, often in the most challenging and dangerous circumstances imaginable. We know from our days at the Academy and every day spent on this job that teamwork and training are how we save lives. From our firefighters to our EMTs and paramedics, we know that to save a life, we must work together to accomplish the impossible. Today, we will honor members like those of Ladder Company 56 and our HAZTAC unit, who responded to one of the deadliest fires in New York City's history, the Twin Parks Fire. 
17 people died, and it is a day that will bring sadness to this department for years to come. Even in the face of this devastating event, there were successes and incredible bravery. Teamwork, training, and sheer guts made it possible for Ladder 56 to crawl into this inferno and remove six people from this fire, four of whom survived. They will be awarded the World Trade Center Memorial Medal for their critical role in this operation. But nothing happens in the FDNY, FDNY without strong teamwork, which is why HASTAC Lieutenant Charles Santangelo is awarded the Chief Ulysses Grant Leadership Medal for his role in the response to this fire. Lieutenant Santangelo treated patients after patient, ventilating, resuscitating, and providing life-saving measures to each of them. His compassion, integrity, and leadership should inspire us all. I responded to the Twin Parks fire. When I arrived, there were 32 victims in cardiac arrest. I had never seen or heard of anything like this. Tragically, 17 of these people died. Amazingly, 15 people were resuscitated and lived. There's only one thing that saved those lives. It's the skill and dedication of all of our members working together as one team. Our firefighters respond to countless calls they're prepared for, and their hours of training and preparation were truly on display at the Roof Rope Rescue in Manhattan last November. Members of numerous engine, ladder, and rescue companies worked together seamlessly to quickly deploy members on ropes and rescue people dangling from windows 21 stories in the air. Eight members who participated in this rescue are receiving a medal today, including firefighter Arthur Pogorski, who will be bestowed the department's highest honor, the Chief of Department Peter J. Gancy Junior Medal, and the New York State Honorary Fire Chiefs Association Medal. Truly, bravery comes in many forms in our department, even in the face of tragedy. This year, we will present a new medal, the William P. Moon II Medal of Life. Last year, we lost Rescue Company 2 firefighter Billy Moon, who was critically injured while conducting a training drill in quarters. Billy was an organ donor, and his family bravely decided to donate his organs. Their selfless choice in the face of a terrible tragedy saved the lives of five people, including two retired members of this department. This medal will honor Billy's memory for generations and will be given to any member in the future who dies in the line of duty and donates their organs. And I know we help, hope we never have to give this medal again. Firefighter Moon's wife, Christina, is here with her two children, Brianne and Colin. And we are proud to present this inaugural medal to them. We will never forget Billy Moon and his sacrifice. The men and women we recognize today represent the best of our department, exemplifying the core values of our dedicated workforce, courage, compassion, excellence, and teamwork. These medals remind us of the countless lives our members have touched all over our great city. Whether they are rushing into a burning building to save a life, administering life-saving medical care amid chaos, or demonstrating exceptional leadership in times of great loss, these individuals have shown that the spirit of service knows no bounds. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you for going above and beyond the call of duty for the citizens of New York City. Thank you for ensuring that the FDNY continues to be the best and the greatest fire department in the world. You are New York's bravest. God bless you. Thank you, Chief Hodges. 
We will now commence with the presentation of the medals. I will ask the ceremonial officer to escort the fire commissioner and the chief department to the area in front of the stage. We begin with the new medal given to a civilian and presented by the Chief of Department, John Hodgins, and the Fire Commissioner, the William P. Moon II Medal of Life, to be given to any member who dies in the line of duty and donates their organs. Let's have a round of applause for Christina Moon. Our next medal is the Chief of Department Peter J. Gancy Jr. Medal and New York State Honorary Fire Chiefs Association Medal awarded to firefighter Arthur Pogorski of Ladder 108. In November 2022, firefighter Pogorski detailed the latter 16 and his fellow members responded to a report of people trapped by fire on the 20th floor of a high-rise apartment building. Arriving on scene, they saw residents partially hanging out of a window on the 20th floor and prepared for a life-saving rope rescue. Firefighter Podgorski was lowered down the side of the building where he encountered a heavy fire ignited by lithium-ion batteries and found a victim tangled in a window gate. With the assistance of other members, they freed and lowered the victim with firefighter Pogorski to the 19th floor, where she received medical treatment. For his extreme bravery and action, the Chief of the Department Peter J. Gancy Jr. Medal and New York State Honorary Fire Chiefs Association Medal is awarded to firefighter Arthur Pogorski of Ladder 108.
Our next medal is the Brooklyn Citizens Medal and Firefighter Lewis Valentino Award presented to Firefighter Stephon Douglas of Engine 276. In June 2022, Firefighter Douglas was off duty when he observed dense black smoke coming from a multiple dwelling. Firefighter Douglas jumped into action immediately and attempted to make entry through the front door of a fully involved apartment fire. Battling intense heat, he returned to his car, retrieved and donned his SCBA gear, and returned to the scene. He entered the building and began to search for trapped victims. Firefighter Douglas bravely crawled down the hallway through intense smoke, heat, and flames and quickly located a small child and removed the child to safety. For his tremendous courage that saved the child's life, the Brooklyn Citizens Medal and Firefighter Louis Valentino Award is awarded to Firefighter Stephon Douglas of Engine 276. Next, the Christopher J. Prescott Medal awarded to Lieutenant Shlomo Winkler and Paramedic Kira Watkins of Station 45. In December 2022, Lieutenant Winkler, who was then a rescue paramedic and paramedic Watkins, responded to an accident in an elevator shaft in the Bronx with two victims injured and trapped. Lieutenant Winkler, paramedic Watkins, and numerous on-scene units worked together in the face of multiple challenges and succeeded as a team in a dark, cramped environment. Lieutenant Winkler's ability to effectively communicate with paramedic Watkins is a true testament to the spirit of the Christopher J. Prescott Medal. For their professionalism and unwavering commitment to providing quality care, the Christopher J. Prescott Medal is presented to Lieutenant Shlomo Winkler and Paramedic Kira Watkins of Station 45. Up next, the Hugh Bonner Medal and the Honor Legion Medal awarded to firefighter Darren Harsh, Rescue One. This is the second medal awarded for bravery at this incident. On November 5th, 2022, Rescue Company One responded to a fire on the 20th floor of a high-rise residential building where residents were trapped and hanging from the windows. Members of the company, including Firefighter Harsh, arrived as other FDNY members were setting up a life-saving rope rescue from the 21st floor. Firefighter Harsh bravely descended to aid a fellow firefighter in rescuing an individual whose arm was trapped in a window child gate. 
Firefighter Harsh freed her arm, allowing her to be safely lowered to the 19th floor. He also secured a second trapped victim and lowered her to safety. For his extreme bravery and teamwork throughout this operation, the Hugh Bonner Medal and the Honor Legion Medal are presented to Firefighter Darren Harsh, Rescue One. Our next medal is the Yadira Arroyo Medal, named in memory of EMT Yadira Arroyo, who was killed in the line of duty in 2017. We will never forget her supreme sacrifice. This medal is awarded to paramedic Mark Geoffrey. Paramedic John, Jonathan Silvera, EMT Jasmine Bordier, EMT Brandon Camacho, EMT Jose Limas, EMT Christopher Love, EMT Vincent Rebelliado, and EMT Joel Rosado, Station 26. In December 2021, these AEMTs and medics smelled smoke in their station, and a civilian informed them of a fire around the corner where a woman and a child were trapped. The Station 26 EMTs rushed to the building to find fire and smoke billowing from a second-story window. EMT Love and EMT Lemos encountered, entered the first floor through a rear window and began to, to search for victims. Other members raised a ladder to the second-floor window where they found heavy smoke. Fire companies had arrived, and EMS informed them of the victim's location. Firefighters removed the mother and child from the building, where paramedic Geoffrey and paramedic Silvera began life-saving efforts. For their teamwork and bravery, these members of EMS Station 26 are receiving the Yadira Arroyo Medal. Paramedic Mar Geoffrey, paramedic Jonathan Silvera, EMT Jasmine Borridier, EMT Brandon Camacho, EMT Jose Limos, EMT Christopher Love, EMT Vincent Rebeldi, Rebeldio and EMT Joel Rosado, brother of Yadira Arroyo.
Up next, the Emily Trevor Mary B. Warren Medal awarded to Lieutenant John Vanderstar, Ladder Company 44. In October 2022, a civilian informed Ladder Company 44 of a fire on the top floor of a nearby dwelling. Lieutenant Vanderstar and the members of Ladder 44 saw smoke and fire coming from a building and made their way, made their way to the fifth floor. Lieutenant Vanderstar bravely crawled into the fire apartment and located a toddler and a mother. He sheltered them in place until firefighters began to extinguish the fire. 
for his aggressive and determined action that saved the lives of a mother and child. The Emily Trevor Mary B. Warren Medal is awarded to Lieutenant John Vanderstar of Ladder 44. Our next award is the Thomas E. Crimmins Medal, presented to firefighter Sean Driscoll of Ladder Company 44. <laughs> On an early morning in October 2022, Ladder 44 responded to a five-story home with a heavy black smoke billowing from the cellar windows. Firefighter Driscoll went to the rear of the building and immediately removed three trapped victims from a window. Firefighter Driscoll then crawled into the cellar past the fire room without the protection of a hose line, using his halligan as a probe. He located an unconscious victim. Firefighter Dris Driscoll quickly removed the victim to safety with the aid of his fellow firefighters. For this amazing rescue and the extreme courage he exhibited, the Thomas E. Crimmins Medal is awarded to Firefighter Sean Driscoll of Ladder 44 Truck. Our next presentation is the Thomas A. Kenny Memorial Medal awarded to firefighter Christopher Ianuzzi, Ladder Company 31. In November 2022, firefighter Ianuzzi responded to a fire in a three-story lightweight dwelling with heavy smoke pushing out of the first and third floors. With fire present on the first floor, firefighter Ian Uzi dashed under the fire and up the stairwell to where people were trapped on the third floor. He located an unconscious victim and moved her to the rear of the apartment, where he found an additional victim by a window. Firefighter Ian Uzi sheltered the victims in place until a hose line had control of the fire. Firefighters removed the occupants to safety and, tra and transferred them to EMS. For his heroic actions that saved the lives of two people, the Thomas A. Kenny Memorial Medal is awarded to Christopher Ianuzzi, Ladder Company 31. Up next, we have the Walter Scott Medal presented to firefighter Adam Nordis Child, Ladder Company 2. This is the third medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In November 2022, Ladder Company 2 and Firefighter Nordis Child arrived on the scene of a fire on the 20th story of a high-rise building. Heavy dark smoke was pushing out of the windows where trapped occupants were hanging. Firefighter Nordis Child directly participated in the successful deployment, deploying three members via life-saving rope with two ropes operating simultaneously. He worked tirelessly navigating through extreme sets of circumstances to facilitate the retrieval of three FDY members and two civilians into the 19th floor window. 
Following this, firefighter Nordis Child himself deployed, a, deployed via lifesaver rope to address a third civilian on the fire floor. For his professionalism, determination, and quick thinking, which results in the saving of three lives, the Walter Scott Medal is awarded to firefighter Adam Nordis Child, Ladder Company 2. Our next award is the John H. Prentice Medal presented to Captain Daniel O'Shea, Ladder Company 31. <laughs> On the morning of December 16, 2022, Captain O'Shea led members of Ladder Company 31 to a fire in the Bronx where they found heavy fire blowing out the second floor windows. Captain O'Shea quickly entered the building and advanced through an extremely hot and dark environment. He located an unconscious victim and worked with other company members to remove them from the fire. He then discovered an infant, quickly removed them from the fire and to the care of EMS members on the scene. For his daring and incredible bravery that rescued the life of an infant and a rapidly growing fire, the John H. Prentice Medal is awarded to Captain Daniel O'Shea, Ladder Company 31. Up next, the Henry D. Brookman Medal awarded to firefighter Belvin Corentang, engine 295. This is the fourth medal awarded for bravery at this incident. On a beautiful November afternoon, Ladder 16 responded to a fire in a high rise. Firefighter Corentang and other members observed that three occupants had broken their windows and were trying to escape from heat, fire, and smoke. He climbed 21 stories carrying the lifesaver rope and firefighting tools to rescue the trapped occupants on the 20th floor. Firefighter Corentang was lowered out the window where he observed one of the victims tangled in a window guard. Firefighter Corentang supported the trapped victim while additional firefighters on ropes assisted in freeing her. Firefighter Corentang was later lowered to the 19th floor where he assisted in removing and treating two of the trapped victims. This is a fantastic example of the teamwork, bravery, ingenuity that is embolic of the highest traditions of the FDNY. For his heroic actions, the Henry D. Brookman Medal is awarded to Firefighter Belvin Corentang of Engine 295. <laughs> Up next... Our next award is the Chief Ulysses Grant Award presented to Lieutenant Charles Santan Santangelo, hashtag. In January 2022, Lieutenant Santangelo responded to one of the deadliest fires <clears throat> in the city's history, a high-rise residential apartment fire in the Bronx. As he arrived, he immediately began treating patients suffering from smoke inhalation and patients in respiratory arrest. As firefighters removed more patients from the fire, Lieutenant Santangelo continue to deliver life-saving measures, helping more than a dozen patients in short order. For the leadership, integrity, compassion, and dedication he displayed on that tragic day, the Chief Ulysses Grant Leadership Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Charles Santangelo, hashtag. Next is the Hispanic Society 23rd Street Fire Memorial Medal of Valor presented to Captain Travis Borden of Division 3. In August 2022, <laughs> Captain Borden and Ladder Company 26 responded to a fire in the 12th floor apartment and encountered heavy smoke and fire. While searching, Captain Borden located a bedroom in the apartment and used his thermal imaging camera to find an unconscious victim. He transferred the victim to additional FDNY members before returning to the apartment to search for more victims. Captain Borden then located another unconscious victim and removed her to safety. 
for his incredible determination and leadership that rescued two people from an intense fire. The Hispanic Society 23rd Street Fire Memorial Medal of Valor is presented to Captain Travis Borden of Division Three. This year, the MJ Delahanty Medal is presented to Lieutenant Martin Murphy, Engine Company 301. In April 2022, Lieutenant Murphy and Engine 301 responded to a house fire where two people were trapped. Facing heavy smoke, Lieutenant Murphy entered the building, immediately discovered an unconscious victim, and removed them to safety, where fellow firefighters began life-saving pre-hospital care. Lieutenant Murphy re-entered the building, located another victim, and removed them with the aid of fellow firefighters. For his brave, quick-thinking actions in which two lives were saved, the MJ Delahanty Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Martin Murphy, Engine Company 301. Up next, the Mayor Fiorello H. LaGuardia Medal is presented to Lieutenant Scott Batterberry, Engine Company 82. In January 2022, Lieutenant Batterberry led Engine Company 82 to a major collapse caused by an explosion in the Longwood section of the Bronx. They encountered a large debris field engulfed in flames. Lieutenant Batterberry maneuvered through the collapse pile and entered the remaining structure. He located an elderly victim and removed her to safety through shifting and unsteady debris and fire. For, this, for his leadership and bravery, the Mayor Fiorello H. LaGuardia Medal is presented to Lieutenant Scott Batterberry, Engine Company 82. Up next, the William F. Conrad Medal, awarded to Firefighter Stephen Clavel, Engine Company 166. While detailed to Ladder 86, Firefighter Clavel responded to a fire in a second-story home on Staten Island where a person was trapped. They determined a missing occupant was likely in the basement. Firefighter Clavel entered the basement and found the unconscious victim. With the aid of a fellow FDNY member, they removed the victim past a roaring fire and high for safety. For his courageous actions under extreme conditions that were directly responsible for the survival of this victim, William F. Conrad Medal is awarded to Firefighter Stephen Clavel, Engine Company 166. Next up is the Chief John J. McElligot Medal and Firefighters Fitzpatrick and Frisbee Award is presented to Firefighter Robert Nips, Ladder Company 30.
In October 2022, a civilian alerted the members of Engine Company 59 and Ladder Company 30 to a heavy smoke condition nearby. Ladder 30 members quickly arrived and began to make their way to the fire floor. Firefighter Nips located the main body of fire and began to search through heavy clutter. In the rear of the apartment, he found an unconscious victim, removed them from the apartment, and carried them down three flights of stairs to EMS members. For his bravery, the Chief John McElligot Medal and Firefighters Fitzpatrick and Frisbee Award is presented to Firefighter Robert Nips, Ladder Company 30. Up next, the Thomas F. Doherty Medal is presented to Lieutenant Christopher Diagello, Ladder Company 2. This is the fifth medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In November 2022, Lieutenant Diagello led members of Ladder Company 2 to a fire on the 20th floor of a high-rise with multiple people trapped and climbing out of the windows. He made his way to the fire floor and battled intense heat, smoke, and flames as he made his way toward the trapped residents, burning his bunker coat. After a hose line was established, Lieutenant DGLO rescued a victim from the apartment and removed them to safety. For his incredible determination and heroism, the Thomas F. Doherty Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Christopher DGLO, Ladder Company 2. Our next presentation is the Albert S. Johnston Medal awarded to Captain James Spencer, Engine Company 275. In September 2022, Captain Spencer led members to Engine 275 to the scene of a fire on the first floor of a private dwelling where a woman was trapped. Captain Spencer found heavy fire on the first floor, quickly donned his face piece, entered the home, and began crawling through thick smoke to search for the victim. He located and shielded her from the intense heat as he removed her from the burning home. For his heroism and bravery that saved the life of a trapped occupant, the Albert S. Johnston Medal is awarded to Captain James Spencer, Engine Company 275. <laughs> Up next, the, Be the Bella Stifel Medal awarded to Lieutenant Michael S. Stripe, Engine Company 166. This is the second medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In the early morning of June 5th, 2022, Lieutenant Stripe detailed the ladder 86 arrived on scene of a basement fire where one person was accounted for. He quickly entered the basement and began to search with fellow firefighters. When the victim was located, Lieutenant Stripe helped remove them from the hot, smoky apartment. He began to administer life-saving medical care, transfer the victim to waiting EMS members, and return to the apartment to ensure no other victims remain. For his aggressiveness and selfless actions displayed at this fire, the Bella Stifle Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Michael Stripe, Engine Company 166. Next up is the Tracy Allen Lee Medal presented to EMT Michael Cavanaugh and EMT Thomas Langford, EMS Station 47.
In October 2022, EMTs Langford and Kavanaugh were traveling through Queens in their ambulance when they noticed smoke coming from a heavily damaged vehicle. They saw that a patient was still inside the car and began to use fire extinguishers to stop the flames. EMT Kavanaugh and EMT Langford successfully extricated and transported the patient to a local hospital. For their commitment to the patient's well-being and for risking their lives to rescue a fellow New Yorker, the Tracy Allen Lee Medal is awarded to EMT Thomas Langford and EMT Michael Kavanaugh, EMS Station 47. Our next presentation is the Vincent J. Kane Medal awarded to firefighter Richard Gorecki, Ladder Company 61. In March 2022, firefighter Gorecki arrived at the scene of a high rise fire in the Bronx. Firefighter Gorecki ascended the stairs to the seventh floor with Ladder 61 members, where they found smoke and heavy fire in an apartment. Without the protection of a hose line, Firefighter Gorecki located an unconscious female in the rear bedroom and removed the victim, saving her life. For his actions, the Vincent J. Kane Medal is awarded to Firefighter Richard Gorecki, Ladder Company 61. Up next, the Polanski Associated Medal presented to Charlie Minicosi, Cap Jr., Ladder Company 61. Welcome to stage, Cap. This is the second medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In March 2022, Ladder Company 61 responded to a fire on the seventh floor of a high rise. Captain Minicosi led members to the fire apartment through dense smoke. He entered the apartment and proceeded to search for occupants. Captain Minicosi located and removed a victim and transferred them to wait in EMS. For his tremendous bravery and initiative in e executing this rescue, the Polanski Association Medal is awarded to Captain Charles Minicosi Jr., Ladder Company 61. Congrats, Chuck. <laughs> Our next medal is the Commissioner Edward Thompson Medal presented to Lieutenant Donald Smith of Ladder Company 117.
on a crisp December day in 2022, a ladder 117 responded to the scene of a fire in an apartment on the third floor of a building. Lieutenant Smith entered the apartment and found two elderly victims. He quickly removed the first victim, handed him off to other members, and returned for the second victim. With the assistance of firefighter Joseph Greco, they removed the second victim to safety. For his courageous and remarkable rescue efforts, the Commissioner Edward Thompson Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Donald Smith of Ladder Company 117. Up next, the Columbian Association Medal is presented to Firefighter Joseph Greco, Jr., Ladder Company 117. This is the second medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In December 2022, Firefighter Greco and Ladder 117 responded to a fire on the third floor of a multiple dwelling where heavy smoke was pushing from the building. Firefighter Greco made his way up the exterior fire escape to the third floor where Lieutenant Donald, Don Schmidt had located two victims. Firefighter Greco entered the apartment and through high heat and heavy smoke, he was able to assist in removing a victim to safety. He then restored their breathing and transferred them to EMS for treatment. For his valiant efforts, the Columbian Association Medal is awarded to Firefighter Joseph Greco, Ladder Company 117. The next presentation is the Susan Wagner Medal awarded to Firefighter John Channel, Ladder Company 36. In October 2022, Ladder Company 36 arrived on scene of a fire on the fifth floor of a multiple dwelling. They encountered heavy smoke and clutter. Firefighter Channel ascended to the fifth floor and entered the fire apartment without the protection of a hose line. Facing heavy clutter, dense smoke, and fire, Firefighter Channel felt his way through the apartment and located a victim in the doorway. Assisted by fellow firefighters, he was able to remove the victim and then return to the apartment to continue searching. For his determination, perseverance, and brave action, the Susan Wagner Medal is awarded to Firefighter John Channel, Ladder Company 36. Next up is the Student Association Medal awarded to Firefighter Peter Morarak, Ladder Company 113. <laughs> On an early October morning in 2022, Ladder Company 113 responded to a report of a smoke in a high-rise dwelling in Brooklyn with a trapped resident on the 16th floor. Firefighter Morwick quickly entered the building and climbed up to the fire floor. Firefighter Morwick entered the apartment and began to search, push, pushing past the fire and locating the victim by the window. He used his body to shield her from the heat as they exited the apartment. After moving the victim to safety, Firefighter Morwick returned to the fire apartment to complete his primary search. For his determination and skill, the Student Association Medal is presented to Firefighter Peter Morick, Ladder Company 113.
Next, the presentation is the Chief James Scullion Award, awarded to paramedic Nicole Perez, EMS Station 38. In October 2022, Paramedic Perez and her partner, Paramedic Deja McKeithen, loaded a patient in their ambulance when multiple gunshots rang out nearby. Numerous people approached the crew to request assistance for people who were shot. They secured the original patient and requested additional units and NYPD for assistance. Paramedic Perez entered a restaurant across the street without hesitation and located a victim with a gunshot to the abdomen and pelvic area. While she stabilized her patient, another paramedic crew arrived to assist. Paramedic Perez then encountered a second patient with gunshot wounds to the chest and upper torso and began treating their injuries. For her value, initiative, perseverance, and selflessness, the Chief James Scully in the medal is awarded to paramedic Nicole Perez, EMS Station 38. Up next is the Dr. J.W. Golden Kranz Medal presented to Firefighter Patrick Modazolowinski, Ladder Company 104. In November 2022, Ladder Company 104 responded to reports of a person in the water and clinging to the pier. Firefighter Morozowinski donned his cold water rescue suit and proceeded to the end of the pier, where he found the victim in dark, cold, and rough water. Fellow FDY members lowered Firefighter Morozowinski 20 feet into the water where the victim had sunk under the surface. Firefighter Morozowinski pulled the victim to the surface and loaded the victim aboard Marine Company 6, which had arrived to help. For his quick and determined actions, that saved the man from drowning in the cold and dark East River, the Dr. J.W. Golden Kranz Medal is awarded to Firefighter Patrick Mulozawinski, Ladder Company 104. The next presentation is the Uniform Fire Officers Association Medal awarded to Lieutenant Edward Cowan, Jr., Rescue Company 5. In the early hours of October 2022, Rescue Company 5 arrived on scene of a fire on the first floor of a two-story building where a man was trapped. Lieutenant Cowan led members of Rescue 5 through heavy clutter to begin to search for a missing victim. Lieutenant Cowan located the victim and removed them from the building with the assistance of fellow members. For his tremendous courage and tenacity under extremely dangerous conditions, the Uniform Fire Officer Association Medal is awarded to Lieutenant Edward Cowan, Jr., Rescue Company 5. Next is the William and Gertrude Freinberg Medal awarded to fire for the John Petito III, Ladder Company 2. This is the sixth medal awarded for bravery at this incident. On November 5, 2022, Ladder Company 2 encountered heavy black, turbulent smoke pushing out of our upper floor windows of a high rise residential building. They ascended to the, to the fire apartment where trapped occupants were beginning to climb out of the 20th floor windows to escape the smoke and fire. Firefighter Petito positioned himself above the victims and reassured them that help was coming. As the occupants continued to attempt to escape the fire, Firefighter Petito extended himself out of the 21st story window to give the occupants fresh air from his self-contained breathing apparatus. For his bravery, initiative, and capability, at the William and Gertrude Friedberg Medal is awarded to Firefighter John Petito, the third Ladder Company 2.
next is the American Legion Fire Department Post 930 Mark M. Woolfield Memorial Medal awarded to firefighter Christian D. Wellinger, Ladder Company 16. This is the seventh medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In November 2022, Ladder Company 16 arrived on the scene of a fire on the 20th floor of a high-rise multiple dwelling. They observed heavy smoke and three occupants hanging from the windows, attempting to escape the hazardous conditions. Firefighter Wellinger and the rest of the Ladder Company quickly climbed the stairs to the 21st floor to begin set up for a life-saving rope rescue. Firefighter Wellinger used his body to anchor the rope, lowered firefighter Belvon Corrington to assist the victims below. He successfully lowered two firefighters and then and one civilian to safety during this incident. For his exceptional performance and courage under difficult circumstances, the American Legion Fire Department Post 930 Mark M. Wolfe Memorial Medal is awarded to firefighter Christian D. Wellinger, Ladder Company 16. Our next award is the Arthur J. LaFour Medal presented to firefighter Julian D. Castaneda, Ladder Company 35. This is the eighth medal awarded for bravery at this incident. Ladder Company 35 responded to a fire on the 20th floor of a high-rise multiple dwelling in November 2022. Firefighter Castaneda in immediately made his way to the apartment above the fire as heavy smoke pushed from the windows on the floor below. He encountered several members preparing for a life-saving rope rescue. He began to immediately assist in setting up the rope, lowering firefighter Arthur Podogorski down the building where occupants were now hanging out of the apartment window. As a result of firefighter Castaneda's actions, the trapped victim and rescuing firefighter were safely lowered into an apartment window on the 19th floor. For his teamwork and initiative, the Arthur J. LaFour Memorial Medal is awarded to firefighter Julian Castaneda, Ladder Company 35. Next up is the Emerald Society Pipes and Drums Medal Award to Firefighter John C. McCullough, Ladder Company 110. In January 2022, Ladder Company 110 responded to a fire in a fifth floor apartment of a high rise building in Brooklyn. Firefighter McCullough entered the apartment and began to search for occupants. He located a closed door and found an unconscious victim in respiratory arrest, distress. With assistance from other members of Ladder Company 110, Firefighter McCullough removed the victim as personnel for care. For his teamwork and bravery, the Emerald Society Pipes and Drums Medal is presented to Firefighter John C. McCullough, Ladder Company 110. Next up, the Company Officers Association Medal presented to Lieutenant Christopher P. Walter, Ladder Company 108. In May 2022, Ladder Company 108 responded to a fire in a Brooklyn apartment with residents trapped inside. Lieutenant Walter led a team inside the building, encountering dark smoke and high heat. Lieutenant Walter began to search for victims and located an unconscious elderly woman. Lieutenant Walter and Ladder 108 removed the victim and transferred them to await the EMS personnel. Lieutenant Walter then returned to the apartment and located two additional victims. 
for his rescue of a disabled victim, aiding in the rescue of two more, and demonstrating great judgment, the company officer associates a medal is awarded to Lieutenant Christopher P. Walter, Ladder Company 108. Our next presentation is the Edith B. Goldman Medal awarded to firefighter Joseph L. Andres, Ladder Company 108. This is the second medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In May 2022, Ladder Company 108 arrived at the scene of a fire in Brooklyn. Firefighter Andres entered the building and encountered a a third floor apartment filled with heat and smoke located the main body of fire and uses extinguisher to keep the fire at bay while other members of 108 search for victims. Firefighter Andres located an unconscious child and transported them out of the apartment to EMS personnel. He then returned to the apartment and assisted with removing a third victim. His actions helped to save the lives of three victims. For his bravery, the Eva B. Goldman Medal is awarded to firefighter Joseph L. Andres, Ladder Company, 108. Up next is the Lieutenant Kirby McElhern Medal presented to EMT Odell Joris, EMT Mi Mika Lange Matthew, and EMT Joseph C. Varadi, Public Safety Answer Center, PSAC 1. In September 2022, a call came into the citywide dispatch system and indicating that a member of service had been attacked. The member was later identified as Captain Allison Russo, EMS Station 49. Dispatcher Matthew Berardi and Jahoris faced multiple conflicting 911 calls regarding the incident. Together, they maintained focus and remained in constant communication with each other and various officers in person, on air and by phone, to coordinate a disciplined and decisive response for emergency medical dispatch to all EMS personnel involved, as well as the fire dispatcher and the EMD dispatcher floor commander. Their teamwork, ex teamwork experience, and dedication delivered the fastest and most effective response response possible, but their combined decisiveness and determined effort, the Lieutenant Kirby McElhern Medal is awarded to EMT Odell Joris, EMT Michelangelo Matthew, and EMT Joseph C. Verardi, PSAC 1. Next up is the Chief Joseph B. Martin Medal presented to firefighter Roger Buck, Ladder Company, 108. This is the third medal awarded for bravery at this incident. In May 2022, Ladder Company 108 arrived at the scene of a fire in Brooklyn. Firefighter Buck determined the fire was in the, a third-floor apartment and proceeded to raise a ladder to reach the window of the fire apartment. 
Firefighter Buck entered the apartment in high heat and smoke and began to search, locate an unconscious child. He crawled under the extreme heat with the child and turned him over to waiting EMS members. He also assisted with the removal of another victim from the apartment. For the use of his training and for his bravery that rescued the life of a child and for assisting in the rescue of another victim, Chief Joseph B. Martin Medal is awarded to Firefighter Roger Buck, Ladder Company, 108. Our next presentation is the Police Honor Legion Medal Award to Firefighter Michael T. Gervasi, Engine Company 279. On an early morning in July 2022, Ladder Company 131 responded to a heavy fire on the fourth floor of a tenement building. Firefighter Gervasi detailed the ladder company 131 made his way to the fire floor and began to search the apartment adjacent to the fire. Immediately met with fire and smoke conditions, Firefighter Gervasi located an unconscious victim in respiratory arrest, moved the victim to the hallway, and transferred them to Wayton FDNY EMS with the help of fellow firefighters. For his efforts in locating an unconscious victim in the high heat and heavy smoke conditions, the Police Honor Legion Medal is awarded to Firefighter Michael Gervasi of Engine Company 279. The Firefighter David J. DeFranco Medal is presented to Firefighter Lawrence D. Landon, Marine Company 6. In the early hours of May 30th, 2022, Marine Company 6 responded to a person in the water near Pier 7 in Manhattan. Firefighter Landon donned his Mustang Swift Water wetsuit and searched for the victim in the dark. Firefighter Landon located the victim, swam approximately 100 feet to secure the victim, and kept his head above water while they were pulled aboard Marine Company 6. For his initiative, decisive action, and determination that saved the life of the victim, Firefighter David J. D. Franco Medal is awarded to Firefighter Lawrence D. Landon, Marine Company 6. Next up, the Lieutenant James E. Zane, Lieutenant Peter Toriano Memorial Medal presented to Firefighter David McLaughlin, Rescue Company 5. On a Thursday night in early March 2022, Rescue Company 5 arrived at the scene of a basement fire in a two-story home where a civilian was missing. Firefighter McLaughlin entered the house and began to search for a missing civilian, eventually locating them on the second floor. He removed the victim down the stairs and out the front door, where he began life-saving interventions with a fellow firefighter. For his aggressive actions, the Lieutenant James E. Zane 
Lieutenant Peter L. Toriano Memorial Medal is awarded to Firefighter David McLaughlin, Rescue Company 5. Next is the Deputy Commissioner Christine R. Godek Medal presented to Fire Marshals Craig T. Gunderson and Lales S. Rosario. In April 2022, Fire Marshals Gunderson and Rosario investigated a fire at a bar in Brooklyn. The investigating the Fire Marshals determined that the fire was incendiary origin, arson. Fire Marshals Rosario and Gunderson conducted a video canvas and were able to track the suspect to their residence. The suspect was later apprehended without incident and indicted on federal charges of arson. They demonstrated the resourcefulness and abilities found in the most dedicated investigators. For their exemplary service, the Deputy Commissioner Christine R. Godek Medal is awarded to Fire Marshal Craig T. Gunderson, Special Investigations Unit, and Fire Marshal Lales S. Rosario, Citywide South. Our next award is the Shelley Rothman Memorial Medal presented to firefighter Kevin Travis, Engine Company 317. In September 2022, Firefighter Travis responded to a fire in a two-story building. Faced with a heavy smoke condition, he began a search and located an unconscious female on the second floor. 
He removed the occupant outside for immediate care before returning to help extinguish the fire. For his efforts, the Shelley, the Shelley Rothman Memorial Medal is awarded to firefighter Kevin Travis, Engine Company 317. <laughs> Up next, the Jack Pinchak Medal presented to Lieutenant Ludmilla Muller, EMS Station 22. In March 2022, Lieutenant Muller and her partner, paramedic Christopher Daly, responded to a house fire on Staten Island where firefighters had removed a non-responsive patient from the blaze. With fire suppression efforts continuing around them, they began administering life-saving treatment and expert care to the patient. For her skills and experience administering life-saving treatment, the Jack Pinchak Medal is presented to Lieutenant Lud Miller, EMS Station 22. For the first time, we will present the Captain Allison Russo North Star Medal, named in memory of Allison Russo, who was killed in the line of duty in 2022. We will never forget her supreme sacrifice. The award represents her leadership, bravery, kind heart, and dedication to her job. The medal is presented to Captain Edgar Baez, PSAC 2. On September 29, 2022, Captain Baez was the commanding officer on the emergency medical dispatch floor at PSAC 2. A call came into citywide dispatch system indicating that a member of service had been attacked. The member was later identified as Captain Allison Russo, EMS Station 49. Using 26 years of intuition and experience, Captain Baez helped untangle communications and determine what was needed. For his outstanding leadership qualities, particularly on September 29, 2022, the Captain Allison Russo North Star Medal is presented to Captain Edgar Baez, PSAC 2. Up next is the Lieutenant James Coran New York Firefighters Burn Center Foundation Medal presented to Engine Company 48. This is the second medal for bravery awarded for this fire. In January 2022, Engine Company 48 was first due to a fire on the third floor of a high-rise apartment building in the Bronx. 
Upon arrival, they saw thick black smoke venting from the windows and numerous residents screaming for help. They immediately went to work, establishing a hose line and moving up toward the fire department under challenging conditions to begin suppression efforts. The fire had spread to the hallway and the apartment across, and Engine 48 fought the fire in both directions, knocking down the fire in each apartment and saving countless lives. Engine 48 operated until they knocked down all visible fire in the two apartments and hallway. At this tragic fire against tremendous adversity, Engine Company 48's dedicated, dedication to training and bravery were on display. For their brave actions and for keeping with the finest firefighting traditions of the FDNY, the Lieutenant James Coran and New York Firefighters Burn Center Foundation Medal is awarded to Lieutenant David Werta, Firefighters Christopher Carlin, Michael LaPerta, Brendan Lorino, Nicholas Rosemeyer of Engine Company 48.
next award is the Firefighter Thomas R. Alsasa Memorial Medal presented to Rescue Company 3. This is the third Medal for Bravery awarded for this fire. In January 2022, Rescue Company 3 responded to a fire on the third floor of a high-rise apartment building. They encountered severe smoke, zero visibility, and intense heat on the fire floor. Together, they assisted engine and ladder companies in suppressing the fire, rescuing victims, and rescuing other FDNY members. Rescue Company 3 operated at significant personal risk under this tragic fire's most extreme and demanding conditions. Due to their efforts and experience, multiple members were assisted and numerous civilians were al are alive today. For their actions, the Firefighter Thomas R. Alsasa Memorial Medal is awarded to Rescue Company 3, Captain William Murphy, Firefighters Joseph Drury, Joseph Killeen, Kevin Legacy, Michael McNamara, and Timothy Wren. Our final medal is the World Trade Center Memorial Medal presented to Ladder Company 56. This is the fourth medal for bravery awarded for this fire. In January 2022, Ladder Company 56 arrived first due to a fire on the third floor of a 19-story high-rise apartment building in the Bronx. As they reached the building, they saw numerous occupants calling for help and preparing to jump out of the windows. Members reached the fire floor and encountered thick black smoke with zero visibility. 
Ladder Company 56 was able to rescue several victims. This monumental ta task under extreme conditions was accomplished by pure determination, teamwork, and dedication to the mission of this department. The World Trade Center Memorial Medal is awarded to Captain John Hunt, Firefighters Thomas Burke, Mike Ferrara, David Skinner, Clinton Belton, Jacob Worstel. Ladder Company 56. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for all of this year's medal winners?
Everyone, please rise for the benediction by FDY Chaplain Reverend Dr. B. Simpson Turner, Jr. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord God, the architect of the cosmos, we are forever indebted to thee for this immense occasion. Today, O oh God, we celebrate those firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, fire marshals, and the fire department personnel who went beyond the call of duty. But also on this day, O oh God, we remember those who have given their all, like firefighter Billy Moon of Rescue Two and Captain Allison Russo. So God, we ask that you will certainly remember the countless who mourn today. Grant them the peace which will cauterize the wounds in their hearts. Merciful God, we pray that once this event has finished, when the bell tolls for service and those bay doors open, please be with those who will answer the call. Lord God, we know the FDNY is the premier fire service, which when duty calls, we respond, whether in Brooklyn, whether in Queens, whether in Manhattan, whether in the Bronx, or in Staten Island. The FDNY will be there whenever we are called upon. Now, Father, let us never forget that you, O oh God, are instrumental in all we are able to accomplish. Lord God, I hear the prayer of the legendary FDNY chaplain, Father Michael Judge, who once prayed, Lord, take me where you want me to go. Let me meet who you want me to meet. Tell me what you want me to say and keep me out of your way. We ask these in all blessings in your merciful, magnificent, marvelous name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Fire Commissioner, Chief Department, and the other members of the executive staff, thank you for joining us today at today's medal ceremony. Before we end, we would like to take a group photo of the medalists with the Fire Commissioner and the Chief Department. Medalists, please rise and remain at your seats while the Fire Department photographer organizes the photo. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day. Good job, Alex.